Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to explain Bloomcast efficient and effective full text retrieval in unstructured peer to peer networks. This paper is under the domain of network. What is network? A network is a group of two or more computer systems linked together. A peer to peer computer network is one in which each computer in the network can act as a client or server for the other computers in the network. It's allowing shared access to files and peripherals without the need for a central server. Peer-to-peer -peer networks can be set up in the home, a business or over the net internet. Each network type requires all computers in the network to use the same or a compatible program to connect to each other and access files and other resources found on the other computer. Peer-to-peer -peer networks can be used for sharing content such as audio, video, data or anything in digital format. Now I'm going to explain abstract of the paper. The objective of the paper is to retrieve full text in efficient and effective manner in an unstructured peer-to-peer -peer networks and existing schemes to improve the search rates successfully but it incurs large communication and storage costs. To improve efficient and effectiveness in retrieving full text scheme in unstructured peer-to-peer -peer networks using Bloomcast. Bloomcast significantly achieves and reduces the communication and storage cost across the networks with hybrid peer-to-peer -peer protocol. Bloomcast designed through mathematical proof and comprehension simulations based on the query logs from a search engine. Now I am going to explain brief concept of the paper. Full text search is an important issue in distributed peer-to-peer -peer information sharing systems. Without centralized index servers, nodes in a centralized peer-to-peer -peer system have to cooperate with each other to perform a full text search. An existing peer-to-peer -peer search schemes, DHT-based global index and federated search engine over unstructured protocols. DHT-based search engines are based on distributed indexes that partition a lot logically global inverter index in a physically distributed manner. Federated search engine over unstructured peer-to-peer -peer queries are processed based on flooding. Unstructured peer-to-peer -peer networks are commonly believed, believed to be the best candidate for supporting full text retrieval because the query evaluation operation can be handled at the nodes that store the relevant documents. Replication strategies are extensively utilized to improve search performance in unstructured peer to peers. The first type is the query popularity aware strategies. The second type of replication strategy is independent of the popularity of the query, such as the WP scheme. The exact match problem of um, DHT is such schemes provide poor full text search capacity. And the second one is the search recall is not guaranteed with the acceptable communication cost using a flooding based scheme. In proposed the query popularity independent replication strategy to propose a novel strategy called Bloomcast to support the efficient and effective full text retrieval. Bloomcast are mathematically that the recall can be guaranteed at a communication cost of square root n where n is the size of the network. By replicating the encoded term sets using Bloom filters instead of raw documents among peers, the communication and storage costs are greatly reduced while the full text multi keyword searching are supported. The Bloom filter based scheme achieves a substantial constant factor improvement but it does not eliminate the linear growth in the communication cost. Bloom cost model works only when the two constraints are met. First one is the query replicas and document replicas are randomly and uniformly distributed across the peer to peer network. Second one, every peer knows the size of the network. To support random node sampling and network size estimation, Bloomcast combines a lightweight DHT into the unstructured peer-to-peer -peer network. To further reduce replication cost, Bloomcast utilizes Bloom filters to encode the full documents. I am going to explain data flow diagram. Data repositories are retrieved from database. Here the files are separated from the data repositories. Second process is node creation. Here in the node is creator. The files are allocated to each node and next process goes to Bloomcast replication model. Here the IP address is assigned to each node and document replica query replica process are done. 
and next process bloom cast inside this process mm, the cost of each node is estimated with the help of replication model and um, in node subset the resultant query of the file is retrieved from particular network of the system with the help of query evaluation and next process is bloom filter here in the data repository are stored in bloom filter after the query recalling process are done here in the insertion deletion and the quickly retrieve the information and done in bloom filter now i'm going to explain demo of our project first start vamp server because data are retrieved from databases to open admins to run home.java click data collections the new form is open click view data here the data is retrieved from databases and click node creation here to choose create node first in the nodes are initialized and then created click allocating files here two two files are allocated to each node click model generation click network here the ip address and port numbers are allocated to each node to choose any one document i choose arm document and click document replica here the document replica is maintaining four records that means so totally in the four nodes node 2 and node 6 node 8 and node 11 how these nodes are maintained in arm document click query replica click network to choose any one file and click query replica here the query replica rate is 11 totally in the seven the 11 records are here click search success rate the success rate is minus 15 and click bloomcast the new form is open click network sex estimation here the document replication is also maintained and um, cost of each node is to be displayed to choose any one document and click node subsets here the um, particular node of the document is displayed and click boom filter to click query retrieval here the documents are extracted in this document to choose any two or document or one document is to be inserted in bloom filter click execute query new form is open there are two types of searching sort done in bloom filter one is character waste and query waste in, uh, in search a character the single character strings are searched according to category wise category sort query id country name under weight and percentage I search a string BOL in country wise click character the result will be shown next I search a string in query ID wise click search query this particular record is present in bloom filter click ok the record is to be displayed and click query evaluation the next form is open here in the two types of deletions are done click del click delete particular value and give bol value click delete the particular value is deleted and click view here the values are delta click cost estimation here the communication storage cost estimation graph is displayed in the unstructured um, value is 7 and uh, structured value is 13 conclusion is bloomcast is effective because it guarantees the recall with the high probability the overall communication storage cost of full text search is reduced below a formal bound thanks for listening